Welcome everyone to a feature spotlight video. Today we're going to talk about a new feature that we call file transfer. So let's say you're in a position where you need to send some vector logo files, for example, to a new, uh, to a sign shop for your client, let's say. You're running a digital studio, they're getting a billboard or some kind of wrap made for their business, and they need you to send their vector files across to uh, the sign shop. So typically this might be something you do by email, uh, but of course you run into size limitations there and maybe it's not quite as professional as you would like. Of course, email can be inefficient. Things get lost in the threads. The logos get kind of lost in their email or they archive them and they can't find them. There's all kinds of reasons. So file transfer addresses this in an elegant way. Consider also that maybe you're an accountant and your client might want you to send their tax returns to a mortgage broker or banker for a home loan. So there's also situations where these things can be sensitive. Okay, so let's just see how this works. Here I am in files. I'm in the private files folder for Lindner Blake. This is where my fictional agency keeps the vector files. So I'm in the files toolkit and I wanna to navigate to the home view and then transfer files. And here I'm going to build a package for transferring files. Okay, so I'm going to create new package and I'm going to say, okay. And then I'm going to select the client because I want to send this to the client, but I also want to send to that sign shop. So let me just type the email address of the sign shop. Okay, of course that's a fictional email address for a sign shop. Uh, just something to show that we'll get that email. And then we're ready to, for the next step. Here we're going to choose the files. So I'll navigate into client files. I'll find my client here. I'm gonna go into private files. And here are my files. I'll just click each one and choose. And now they're part of my package. I could adjust by removing each one individually or I could add more. Let's click next, we can keep going. And here's where some security options come into play. So if you have some security concerns or you want to limit the number of uh, downloads or limit the number of days that this will be available. You can do that here. If you need to secure this package with a password, you can do that here. Let's go ahead and create something simple. Okay, very, very secure, of course. And then we'll go to uh, notify the following when the package downloads. So I want to know when this sign shop downloads the package or when my client downloads it. This will be useful information for me. It helps me know my job is done. It helps me know that everything is delivered. And it's just a nice notification to get. Let's go ahead and click next. And here now we've preloaded the email template. Of course, this is something that you can modify. You can customize it. You can also use placeholders as you see here. But of course there are some you don't want to mess with. This code is important. This link is important. So the others you can customize, but leave these really important ones. And then you can just click send transfer. Or the other option is if you want to send the link yourself through some instant messenger or maybe just your own email or however you want to send that link. If you want to do that, you can just click here. We provide you the link to copy and the file transfer is initiated. Or the other option and the way to finalize here is just click send transfer. Okay, that's it. The transfer has been sent. Now the recipients will receive an email and they can use the link and the code in the email to retrieve the files. Let's take a look at that process. Okay, here's the email that's received by your recipients, in this case, Lindner Blake, our client. So file transfer, new package created, and of course, all white label. And then he's informed you have a new secure file transfer waiting. Click the link below and enter the provided security code. Okay, so we'll just copy this security code and we'll click the link below just like your client would do. And this will load their access. It won't matter whether they're logged in or not logged in. The access is the same. And now we can just paste the code into place or enter it one digit at a time. We'll just paste for ease. It recognizes the code is valid, resets. Oh, and remember that password that we set for security. Let's go ahead and enter that very secure password that we came up with. All right, that's done. We'll click enter. Okay, and now all we need to do is just click download and that'll bring the files down to our local device as a zip file. If you specify the number of downloads, it will show here how many downloads are remaining and you can even sit here and click download, download, download and see the number 
go down one at a time in real time. Back on the admin side, you can always access that file transfer and see statistics related to it by going to the file transfer folder. All your file transfers that are active in the system will be here. Here's the one that we just created, Vector Files for Runaway. You can see that there's been two views and four downloads. If we were to click over and hit download a few more times, we would see this number increase, of course. From here, you can also resend the email, copy the share link, or download the entire zip file or you can click into the file transfer and download each individual file as needed. And back on the recipient side, when the maximum number of downloads has been reached or the expiration date passes, they'll see that the access is blocked and they will not be able to download the files at that point. So in summary, that's our new file transfer feature. Of course, you can use this in traditional ways as I've described, but also there are unique and creative ways to use this file transfer feature. For example, if you wanted to include a link to a PDF or some kind of value add in your email marketing, you can simply not expire the link, just leave it open forever, and then copy the share link here and include that in your emails. Additionally, in the future, we plan to add this as an action in our Trigger Actions Automations Toolkit so that some trigger will enable the action of sending this file so that after a particular trigger happens, the target of that automation will receive an email which essentially delivers the file package of your choice on demand based on the completion of some other action in the platform which triggers the following action. So not only can this be a really powerful tool for you to move files to your clients or customers, that can be video files, can be PDFs, can be uh, tax returns, can be just about anything that you can think of, but also you can use this as part of your automations, as part of your funnels to facilitate delivery of value adds or ebooks or lead generating PDFs or whatever your creative mind can come up with. So this is a powerful feature that you would normally have to pay for separately, but now you don't. It's a part of Sweet Dash. It's white labeled. It's completely professional and branded to your company, and we hope you find it very useful. Okay, thanks everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you in the next one.